This video is about graphing linear equations using any two points, x and y intercepts, and the slope and a point on the line, 4 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video at any time in any point. Now you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Apply knowledge learned in rewriting linear equations and plotting of points. And graph linear equations using any two points, x and y intercepts, and the slope and a point on a line. Now, let's get started. Recall that linear equations in two variables have two forms. The standard form, ax plus by equals c, and the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Examples of linear equations in two variables in standard form, 3x plus 6y equals 0, and 7x minus 6y equals 7. Examples of linear equations in two variables in slope intercept form we have y is equal to 3 over 5x plus 8 where 3 fifths is the slope and 8 is the y intercept and we have y is equal to negative 7x minus 4 where negative 7 is the slope and 4 is the y intercept Does this figure look familiar to you? Do you know what this is? You are correct. This is a map. Using the coordinate grid of GeoCity, write down the ordered pair to locate the school, the city hall, the park, the library, the police station, and the house. For example, the school can be found in this point with the coordinates 2, 1. The city hall in this point with negative 5, negative 2. The park right here, negative 4, 5. The library down below, which is negative three, negative six. The police station at the right, that is four, negative four. And lastly, the house right here on top right, that is six, four. Now you did a good job at plotting points. How do we graph lines? We graph lines using two points, x and y intercepts, and the slope and point on a line. Now you have learned earlier that a linear equation can be written in the form y is equal to mx plus b or ax plus by equals c. Now the first method of graphing a linear equation is by using two points. A solution to a linear equation in two variables is an ordered pair that satisfies the equation. When graphed, these solutions form a straight line. Let us graph equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 and 2x plus y equals negative 4. Let's start with the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1. Assign random values for x and solve for the corresponding values of y. Let's take 0 and 1. By substitution, let x equals 0, y equals 2x plus 1, y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1, 
y is equal to 0 plus 1, and y is equal to 1. Therefore, if x is 0, then y is 1. So we have one ordered pair, which is 0, 1. Next, let's take x is equal to 1. y is equal to 2x plus 1. y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. y is equal to 2 plus 1. And then y is equal to 3. Therefore, if x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 3. So the ordered pair is 1, 3. After finding the ordered pairs of the two points, plot and connect them. We have 0, 1, and 1, 3. Here we go. 0, 1, and 1, 3. And then we connect those two points to form a straight line. This time, let us graph our second equation, which is 2x plus y equals negative 4. First, we have to change into the y is equal to mx plus b4 or the slope intercept form. So we have 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. That will be y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Again, assign random values for x and solve for the corresponding values of y. Let us take negative 1 and 2. By substitution, let x equals negative 1. y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. y is equal to negative 2 times negative 1 minus 4. Simplifying, y is equal to 2 minus 4. And then, y is equal to negative 2. Therefore, if x is equal to negative 1, then y is equal to negative 2. So, the ordered pair is negative 1 and negative 2. Let x equals negative 2. y equals negative 2x minus 4. y equals negative 2 times 2 minus 4. y equals negative 4 minus 4. y equals negative 8. And therefore, if x equals 2, then y equals negative 8. So the ordered pair is 2 and negative 8. Now notice how it is smooth and it is easy if you are going to express your equation into the slope-intercept form. It is easier to get the value of y while substituting any random value for x. Let us graph the two points, negative 1, negative 2, and 2, negative 8. Right here, negative 1, negative 2, and then 2, negative 8. This time, let us graph our lines using the x and y intercepts. What is an intercept? In algebra, we have the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is a point on the graph where y is equal to 0, while the y-intercept is a point on the graph where x is 0. If you know where the line crosses both on the x and the y-axis, you can use these points to graph the linear equation. For example, graph the linear equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 using the x and y intercepts. At y equals 0, y is equal to 2x plus 1, and by substitution, 0 equals 2x plus 1 by addition property of equality that is used to let us have the value of x. So we put the value of x on the other side of the equation. So that's going to be negative 2x is equal to 2x plus 1 plus negative 2x. Now we have x on the other side of the equation. Negative 2x is equal to 1. And by the multiplication property of equality, we have x is equal to negative 1 half. This means that the graph passes through the x-axis at the point negative 1 half, 0. This time, let x be 0. y is equal to 2x plus 1. y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1 by substitution. y is equal to 0 plus 1. And we simplify that's going to be y is equal to 1. This means that the graph passes through the y-axis at point 0, 1. 
and uh, graphing that line with the points negative one half is zero and zero one the graph is this one here are our points negative one half zero and zero one here let y equals zero 2x minus 3y equals negative 6. My substitution, 2x minus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. 2x is equal to negative 6. Simplifying further, x is equal to negative 3. This means that the graph passes through the x-axis at point negative 3, 0. Let x be 0. 2x minus 3y equals negative 6. 2 times 0 minus 3y equals negative 6 by substitution. So that will be negative 3y equals negative 6. Simplifying further, by dividing both sides of the equation with negative 3, we have y is equal to 2. This means that the graph passes through the y-axis at point 0, 2. Graphing the line with the points negative 3, 0 and 0, 2, that is going to be, there you have it, the line negative 3, 0, and 0, 2. At this point, let us graph linear equations by using the slope and the points on a line. This can be done by plotting first the given point, then finding the other point using the slope, which is rise over 1, and connecting the points. Graph the line passing through the point 1, negative 1, whose slope is 3 fourths. We plot the given point in our example 1, negative 1, and using the formula m is equal to rise over run to identify the rise and run from point 1, negative 1, we rise 3 points up and run 4 points to the right. If the rise is positive, you move up, just like in our example. Otherwise, move down if it's the opposite sign. If the run is positive, you run to the right, just like in our example. Otherwise, to the left, if it is negative. And then, you connect the points, and there you have it, the graph of the line. This time, let us graph the line passing through 1, negative 2, and slope, 4 over negative 5. Let us plot our point first, which is 1, negative 2. And then our slope is 4 units up and 5 units to the left. Now our second point is negative 4, 2. This time we connect the points. And there you have it, the graph for our line. That was amazing. This time, let's do what's more. A, directions. Graph the linear equations by using any two points. You have four numbers to work on. B, directions. Solve for the x and y intercepts, then graph the equation. Again, four numbers to work on. And lastly, C, directions. Graph the following given the slope and a point. And again, you have four numbers to work on. Again, use a separate sheet of paper and of course, submit your work on time. Now, in graphing linear equations, you can either use two points, x and y intercepts, and the slope and point on a given line. Congratulations! You just finished Lesson 2 of Module 8. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on learning.